Hi everyone. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking for something to prop my light on. Need something a little higher. Can't find anything to put it on. <laughs> oh well. So I guess you'll get this angle. All right, so let's talk a little bit about smoky eyes. Um, I know it was requested by a couple people in the group to talk about and to show you how to do a smoky eye. Uh, so here is my outlook on smoky eyes. They are all different. Um, it really just depends on what you're comfortable with and it takes practice. So uh, I have watched many videos from many makeup artists, from many makeup lovers, and I have found that not one does it the same. And there are different, obviously, colors of smoky eyes. So. The smoky eye doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, black and brown. Um, you can have a purple smoky eye. You can have, you know, whatever color of smoky eye. But really, smoky eyes consist of like four colors. Um, that is the majority vote. Is people mainly use about four colors in each smoky eye. But you can do brown smoky eyes, like with brown, more uh, neutral tones, um, neutral meaning like more earthy tones, or you can do more kind of natural, um, there's neutral and nat naturals. So if you research the color wheel, neutrals are colors that aren't really found on the color wheel, so like gray. Um, stuff like that so um, anyway so that's a little bit of color theory for you so all of these are considered our feeling is neutral palette so these would be all good for like a neutral color smoky eye um, if you want to go more of like the brown tone smoky eye these right here are perfect right there. If you don't want to go as dark as black, then stop at this brown here. These two over here are good as well, but these ones are the most popular smoky eye right here. Hi, Gavs. So there's that. Um, so this is, this is One Night Sands. Hi. This is taupe for the best. This is a corkable. This is brownie points. This is Dial It Black. Excuse me. Sorry I'm a little late to a video. Gavin wanted me to play toy maker and fix his toys. So. That is some. And then usually you do like a light color like the cream bow over here for your brow bone. And no, I don't have any makeup on. Um, just my skincare that I've done. So, and I like to do, if I'm dealing with blacks or anything dark, I usually do my eye makeup first. Um, there's no right or wrong way. Some people put translucent powder under their eyes so when the black falls out, it doesn't get and ruin their foundation. I just go in with no foundation whatsoever and do my smoky eye, and then I put my foundation on. So... 
That way I don't have to worry about messing anything up. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about this palette right here because this palette is absolutely perfect for smoky eye if you want like more of a gray scale smoky eye. This is the Onyx palette right here. Now all of our palettes, you can create your own. They are interchangeable. They have these little holes in the back. You just pop them out and you create your own quad, quad four, quad. So you could easily go and pick Cream Boat, Taupe for the best, a corkable, and brownie points. And that would be your quad. And it would be a perfect brown toned smoky eye. But I'm going to do the Onyx palette because I rarely go dark. And I'm going to try that today. So I suggest that you find an eye primer even if you have non-oily lids when it comes to doing smoky eyes and doing darker smoky eyes just because it will help the color pigment stick and it won't be as smudgy or rubbing off. So that is what I suggest. I love this Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott. Another good one is this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer or the Urban Decay Eye Primer. You just have to find your best eye primer for you. But for me, this Elizabeth Mott one works really well. Smoky eyes will also vary on how they are done because everybody's eye shape is different. Um, I have very wide eye or open eyes, but I do have a little bit of hoodedness to them where they kind of like fold down. See how that is? So I'll lose most of the color up in here and it'll become part of my eyelid. So it's just playing with it, practicing, and understanding that you need to just find the perfect way for you. But I'm going to give you simple tips on how you can do a smoky eye. So I'm going to take the Onyx palette which this is O-Y-N-X, spells Onyx, that's what they're labeled. You can buy this palette still, it's still available, limited quantities though. And if you haven't tried our eyeshadows or any of our makeup, I highly suggest that you do because this is highly pigmented, it's over 50% pigment. So that means that what you're buying in Sephora, Ulta, Walmart, Target, wherever you go to get your cosmetics, they can only sell up to 38%. And that is why Limelight is a higher grade, blendable, professional company and pigments. So that's kind of why I suggest that maybe you start making a switch. Hi, Tiffany. You just made it. Well, I'm, I've barely even begun. <laughs> I've barely even started I'm doing smoky eye with the onyx palette I was talking about why these eye pigments are a different than what you would find in the store so I was talking about kitty no no you know the 50% pigmentation the blendability the lawn wear lasting time of these are definitely a reason why we do them. So that one's very pretty. It's it's the O. It's a very good highlight if you just want to use it as a highlighting pigment. Like I said, this Onyx palette is like this. You can't buy these colors individually, but it is so worth the money. There is the The why? The why? <laughs> I'm like, how do you spell onyx? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and then here is the N. See, these dark colors, you have to, you have to definitely 
go slow and take your time and blend 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 okay and here is the X which I barely I barely even swirled my finger on that one because I was like whoo there you go there they are swatched on my hand So the best way for me to do this is to start with the lighter color and put it all over my lid. I feel like it blends a lot better when you start with your light color and just put it all over your lid. And I will gladly, for you Helena girls, if you want to ever schedule a one-on-one -on -one so I can show you how to do a smoky eye on yourself individually we can because like I said every eye shape is different yours is going to be slightly different than how I'm doing mine but kind of the same concept so still getting the O on there And what I tend to do with my eye makeup is I will do one color, but I will do it on both eyes. So I'll do it on one. That way I can make sure that it's pretty even as I go along instead of doing one full eye and then having this eye look different. So that's just what I recommend to do. So putting that O, getting it even in my... My crease here gives me that bright eye, that pretty, I'm awake eye look. And I know a lot of you guys are away for the fourth. I love how I have no brows. It's, it's totally bugging me, but we're doing these eyes first. We are doing them first. Okay, so that is the start. That is the number one step. So next, I'm going to take this angled fluffy and I'm going to put it in the Y or the, the N. Oh my gosh. Can I spell? No, I can't. I really can't spell today. So I'm going to put the N up in my crease here, but I'm going to blend, blend that out. And smoky eyes, like, I've seen smoky eyes where they're cat, ugh, kittens, get out, please stay, don't fall, don't fall. that better oh my gosh it's gonna fall on me ah. so I've seen smoky eyes where they're more lighter and then they smoke out in the corners there are people where they do an all black smoky eye and then the smoke is kind of more in the crease it's really up to your creativity which is why makeup is so awesome so it's up to you know what you want to do with your makeup and there really is no right or wrong you just want to make sure that you blend blend it so I'm gonna do a very dark smoky eye because guess what I haven't done one in forever Oh, somebody text me. I'm so popular. So 
So then I kind of make sure that they're relatively even. I think this light needs to go up. Is that better? Is that a better light? Or did that make it worse? Still trying to figure out the lighting in this room. Checking my backdrop. Yikes. That cat. That's why I shut my door, but Gavin let it open again. Is that better lighting, Tiffany? Better? Okay, good. Good. Get out! So these are so, so pigmented that just a little bloop is going to be just enough to put that color where it needs to go and not having it be a hot mess. So you want to tap, tap it off or shake it off, whatever you want to do with these colors. Okay, so now I'm going to take a tighter fluffy brush. I'm going to put it in the Y. Yes, the Y. That is how you spell Onyx. O-N-Y-X. And it's almost like a gray, pretty gray blue. I'm just going to keep it pretty tight in my crease over here. because I'm starting to build color layers. If you want to know how lots of makeup artists get all those really fabulous blends, they add a lot of layers of color. And they blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. Uh, this is why people do makeup to music. I'm pretty sure. So they don't go silly and start making their own up. Now see how this, this droops right here? Look, I just lost all of that color. See why everybody's eyes are different? I have lots of lid, but then... Whoop, that's okay. If it looks a little bit messy, that's okay too, because that is what blending is for and concealer is for. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit more because of that eye droop that I have. So I can actually see this pretty Y color. There's also halo smoky eyes. I mean, smoky eyes are pretty much, in my terms, are any really blended light to dark type of color scheme. Just like I said, you can have a purple smoky eye, go from like a light very light lavender into a deep, deep plum color. It doesn't always have to be browns or grays or blacks. And if you say it's a smoky eye, then you tell everyone it's a smoky eye. You tell them. Don't let anybody tell you what your makeup is. You did it. You're the creator. There's no right or wrong. There's no perfect terminology for any of it. You are the artist. And that is why makeup is amazing.
Right, Tiffany? Right, Tiffany? You know? You know, Tiffany? Because Tiffany even does her makeup than I do mine. Tiffany has her own way of doing it. She has her own smoky eye look. Hers is the bomb.com. Mine is the bomb.com. All you gotta do is just practice and know what looks good on your face. See how much blending it takes? Blend, 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 blend. Those cats, they're digging in everything. They're going nutty nuts. Now, I'm going to go back into this light gray, into the end. I'm going to put that over the top again so it looks blended. There's no harsh lines. See how the color layers are happening? Okay, are you ready? Ready for this color right here? Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready for it. So the X, I'm going to put pretty much right here, almost like a, almost like eyeliner, but it's not going to be eyeliner. It's going to be the X. I be very careful right here because I still want to make that bright and I want to highlight that once I'm done. So this is the dome line light brush. Brushes do make a difference having a good set of brushes. Having good brushes is key to a well blended look synthetic or natural hair whatever you prefer these limelight brushes are synthetic they were created by our celebrity makeup artist Kat Aragon so she helped create them and put them into our line And these are more of like a professional, they're not as forgiving as when we had these ones. These ones were the Lucite brushes and they were more flexible. So they were kind of a beginner brush. But now they're, now they're not around. I could probably still find some for you. So the dome, the dome brush. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. And I use this dome brush for dark colors. It's like my dark color brush. It's for my blacks, my dark grays. Because it's more, it's tighter. So you don't have a lot of product in the brush just falling everywhere. It keeps it very controlled. And you just do your little... That's all you really have to do, right there. Okay, I'm gonna check my mirror. I'm gonna take that the Y again. Where's my Y brush? Pat it in there. And I'm going to brush in the crease again because we kind of lost a little bit of it and I want to see it. Quit playing with it. Get. 
get. Again, it helps with that blended look. You're asking for trouble, serious black. You're asking for trouble. Okay, check in my mirror again. Because it's more up close. back into the gray. I'm gonna pat that on again. Gosh, they're being naughty today. They're just being naughty kitties. Back into the O. Get it up in the brow. Which I might have to fix once I put my brows on. But that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so usually when I'm doing my lower lashes, I use an angled brush. And I already have um, it dipped in the, the X, the black, the X. So I'm going to take my little blender bud here. Because I don't like to pull on my eyes. And sponges are way softer then using your fingers. So I'm gonna go about to where my actual um oh my goodness brown color of my eye starts. <laughs> what is that? What is that called again? Ugh. Pregnancy brain. I'm gonna smoke that that out just to here iris is it iris yeah iris that's the color right <laughs> thanks Tiffany that's why I need help with words So just to right there, because I don't want to close my eyes smaller by bringing that color all the way through. <clears throat> I'm going to take the, that one, what is this? I don't know, 282 Eye Fluff by INS, I don't know. I got it free, I think. Cat, you are in trouble. Get, get out, cat. He just ruined my shirt with his claws. What a punk. Okay, back into lay a Y right here. Tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna put that right there. And fluffy brush it onto the black the X. I'm still giving my eye space so I'm not carrying it too far over about the middle of my eye and I'm pulling it back. So that is one smoky looking eye, huh? Ow, 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 ow. I'm going to take a clean brush. Oh, I'm not clean enough. Okay, so this one's just, I don't know where I got this. It's fluffy, it's clean, no color on it. Kind of looks like it does, but it doesn't. It's clean. I'm going to just blend that all over the eye. I'm going to mm -hmm. mix those colors, melt them together. So 
Same thing with this eye. I'm going to blend the colors. Usually like a tighter, fluffier brush, but most of them are dirty, so this one will have to do. Just blend, blend it out. And that is a dark, smoky eye. Dark and smoky. Now you can go back into the O. Touch this up on the brows again. Take some more of the O. Dab it in here. Give it that highlight. If you got some on your nose, I think I did a little bit right there. That's okay. That's why I didn't do my foundation first. But if you're going to do it with foundation on first, I do recommend taping off or doing a lot of the loose pressed powder. This is RCMA. It's the same as our pressed powder. This pressed powder right here. We have our vendor, RCMA, that has collaborated mm -hmm. with us, and they have made us our very own Limelight Pressed Powder. And bring some of that O right there. So this is one smoky eye demo. Like I said, there are different variations of smoky eye. You could leave this more natural looking and just smoke out the corners. You can do this full eye. You can do color smoky eyes, but I just wanted to show off our Onyx palette before this one is gone because our other ones are going like crazy. So get in on this Onyx palette before it has left our shelves forever because it is limited edition. Limited. Okay, so then you would do eyeliner, but I'm not going to because I'm going to do my foundation. So I will have to demo the eyeliner, but I would just wean it out right on top of it and then put lashes on and mascara. But that is the shadow demo right there. Shadow demo. It is very smoky. It's very different to see to see myself with smoky eyes because I don't do it a ton. Hi Gavs. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. He thinks that my eye makeup's angry. Am I angry? I'm not angry. It's because I don't wear smoky eyes like this. This dark, seductive, smoky eye. So, there we go. There it is. There, that's all, folks. That is all, folks. Love you guys. If you need any help... Determining your eye shape or you want some color matching, anything like that, just let me know. Message me and I will get you hooked up with your perfect smoky eye colors. You know, this might not be for you, but like I said, we can build you a quad that, um, you know, is more what you're looking for with these brown tone shades or pinks or whatever whatever you'd like all right cassiegleason.com director with limelight by alcone bees and pineapples love you guys bye